Hi everybody, Phil from Hybrid Me doing a tutorial video today which hopefully might be helpful for at least one person um, on basically setting up your audio, your video if you want to play golf, sim golf online together or if you actually want to go streaming um, sim golf and there's a couple of key things I'm going to cover in this now I put a video out uh, two days ago where I caught up with Mitch from Handicap Golf another YouTube channel please check it out um, and we played a head-to-head -head round of golf and it was actually Mitch's first round of golf head-to-head -head on GS Play and we set up uh, the video so that I could see him, um, his camera, and he could see mine. Um, and we both enjoyed it, I think. And one of the questions that came up in the YouTube comments was, how have you guys managed to go about um, hearing each other and seeing each other in the video? And I said, well, let me, let me show you that in the tutorial. So here goes. Um, I've shown this camera here just to show that I'm, I'm here and to make it a little bit more interesting at the start of the video rather than having a blank canvas but I will minimize that now and I will say that the key to kind of doing this is really having two um, two key products that we use one is discord discord is an instant messaging social media um, social yeah social media um, instant messaging app the bit like a kind of WhatsApp type thing and um, you can set up various servers you can join various groups and channels um, and if you buy GS Pro and if you um, subscribe to the Simulator Golf Tour, you gain access to the Simulator Golf Tour um, Discord channel. You can download Discord for your phone. I've got it on my iPhone, uh, tablet, or for your PC. I recommend it installing it on whatever devices you're going to use for Sim Golf. Most people, that's going to be some kind of gaming PC. Um, as um, when you go into Discord, if you've joined the server, now it will be an invite for the server. You can reach the Simulator Golf Tour. Um, server down the left hand side that allows you to see developer announcements updates the welcome channel where new members are coming in you can see people arguing up and down about various things and they're arguing now um, you can see people that are interested in doing a rider cup such as myself um, captained a few in the in the uh, years gone by and absolutely loved it further down there's other competitions there's bug reporting but further down um, ear voice chat lobbies and the easiest way if you're playing online golf um, whether it's using um, GS Pro whether it's going to be using other software there are servers for other um, software other tours is to go into one of the voice chat lobbies just click on it suddenly you jump in uh, mine's not lighting up at the moment because I am capturing the mic over here but if I go into the settings go to voice and video input device I can select the camera that is my mic test it down here and when I come out suddenly we'll see that my um, icon is lighting up showing that when I speak other people can hear it so anyone can jump in that lobby and they would be able to chat with me straight away and that's the easiest way of playing you can both talk to each other you can hear what's going on while you then go over to your golf and uh, and play golf now going back again here um, other people then say, well, okay, what if I actually want to see the person and be able to talk to them and possibly see them playing? So again, you can do that. By the way, you don't have to jump into a public lobby because other people could jump in there and they could be heckling you um, or listening to you. If you've got a group that you think, you know, what, I'm quite happy to share what's going on, then I can share my cam by clicking on video. And that will select that webcam, which isn't currently being used. I'm going to leave this iCam for my other application I'll talk about shortly um, but you could share your video that way and talk to people if you double click on the image uh, what did I need to do to get poo poo oh yeah let me share my screen as well so I'm going to share screen and I can select GS Pro select the resolution depending on your bandwidth and now I've got in a second hopefully two things that are up there if I double click on one, I get them side by side. This is how it would look effectively if I had someone sharing their video there and someone on this side and we would both be able to see each other and talk. You can either share your screen or you can share your cam. Um, but when it comes to playing and putting up streams online, um, there's a much better way. This is for kind of just being able to play and, um, and have fun. But if you want to record around, if you want to be able to upload it, if you want to stream it to YouTube, then you need to use a different bit of software. And this is where OBS comes in. So OBS is Open Broadcaster Software, I want to say. Let me type in OBS. Um, I think it's Open Broadcaster. 
but effectively my internet's not brilliant here which is why I tend not to stream these days open broadcaster software it is free and open source so don't be afraid to download it to install it and play around with it you can play around with it on Mac or Windows though um, gaming PCs will typically be Windows because there's not many if any um, software running on Mac at the moment um, but when you install it you get something like this now I am running two versions of OBS because one is recording this video that you're seeing and has got my camera in the top left corner and is capturing my audio as well as capturing my video from this camera the other one is for me to show you how you can go about setting up your screen and laying it out so that you can record now even if you have no plans on putting it out on YouTube I do recommend that um, you set up something like OBS because you can record every round you play simply by going start recording and then stop recording at the end and if you do get a hole in one you've got it there for uh, prosperity you can share it with people if you encounter bugs you can trim down the video and or get your phone out copy it and be able to send it in as a bug report so it's very handy I think it's a good habit to have anyhow um, of course I do put most of my stuff out on YouTube but how do you go about setting up uh, OBS now there are many tutorials online I'm not going to try and say this is better than doing it but I'm going to show you how I kind of set up my screen and hopefully just give you an idea for how you can interact with OBS which I think is fabulous software first thing is if you go into settings you get various options for being able to set your stream you can put your YouTube account on there so if you have registered for YouTube and you've got a YouTube streaming key you can enter that in meaning that when you then click on start streaming it will automatically stream to your YouTube account um, output is where you can kind of set what type of recording you're going to have and you can set the bit rate you can set how good you want it to look and record and it depends on your bandwidth um, video same kind of thing you can set the resolution for the canvas within OBS and the kind of scaled resolution I'm experimenting with a higher resolution because I've got 4k just because my videos have been stunted at 720 recently and I don't know why and I think it might be um, just something that I didn't set up right in my new settings but that stuff you can generally leave. Down here in the bottom left you've got scenes. This is like a, a setup I'm going to call it. So in this case it's a tutorial scene. I typically have one scene which is my streaming setup, my streaming layup. A layout even, sorry. Sources is the kind of interesting bit where you get into this. So the first thing I want to do is think, okay, what am I looking at showing? Well it's going to be the golf. So I can capture a window which would be a very specific window such as GS Pro or I can capture my desktop. If I capture my desktop and while I'm playing I duck out to go to Discord, I duck out to go to other things, it will capture all of that. Good if you want to be able to switch between like leaderboards, bad if you want to go and read some personal emails in amongst playing golf. So you've got to decide do I go window capture and go GS Pro and then go and select the window I want which is GS Pro like that or do I decide to go desktop capture uh, display capture which will capture everything on one of my two displays I've got I mirror my projector screen with my 4k display and then I have a separate um, display where I kind of just run other things so I in my, this case this will be the one that I mirror and then if I swap between GS Pro and something else you'll see that it is actually capturing that desktop um, let me go back, uh, da, 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 I've got too many screens open, <laughs> which, which OBS is this? That is this one, fine. Um, so mostly at the time as it's being set up for me to capture GS Pro only, I would actually go GS Pro as a window capture rather than a display capture, so I'll get rid of that. So GS Pro, you can go back into properties, you can select which one it is, there it is and then go OK. That's got my kind of basic layout. Now I want to capture me. I actually want to see me swinging a golf club. That would be handy. So you need to plug in your webcams, um, however many you've got, whatever you're going to use. Uh, Mitch was um, a couple of days ago using a GoPro. I use Logitech Brio or Logitech 4K Stream Editions, the business version um, webcams. They are more expensive but they have much higher audio quality and I use one of those as my main audio capture. Um, I have a Brio at the back of the room, Brio at the side, and I've just got this tiny um, uh, little eye cam that I just have propped up between two wires. Funny enough, it's kind of freestanding just for that, this view. So because Discord, uh, sorry, because that OBS, my main OBS that is recording this today, is um, using this cam, 
I can't then add it to other applications, like I wouldn't be able to share that cam with Discord, for example, because it's been grabbed already by OBS. There's probably ways of being able to share it, but I haven't looked into that. But anyhow, I would just think, okay, let's add a source, let's add a video capture device. That lets you select what, so I'll call it Cam 1, maybe side-on cam or whatever it would be. And it allows me to go in and think which camera do I want to go for. Let's go for the, yeah, let's go for the Logitech Brio cam. That's the one at the back of the room. That is now captured. And let me add another one. Add video capture device cam to that should. That should be the one straight ahead, but it's not working. I wonder. Oh, that's because I've got it in Discord. I'll explain why later. So cam two, I can't get because if you recall in Discord. I am currently sharing the camera there. So Discord is grabbing it. I'll explain how. And also, Discord is grabbing the person I'm playing against. So for the sake of this, let's just assume one of these windows is the person I'm playing against, that one. And I'd like to get that in my display as well. So because I can't grab it through video capture device, I want to grab it through window capture because it is there in a window. So I go window capture. I'm going to call it Discord video. OK. Discord video, there it is, that's got the two videos of ours running, well it's got the golf on the left and it's got the video, but let's assume it's two cameras, that has now appeared, I want to resize it because that's far too big, so I'll resize that, I'm going to move that camera down to the bottom left because nothing appears of any relevance in the bottom left on GS Pro, um, top left has the score, bottom right has things like the penalties and the and the um, course down, so I generally think that bottom left side is a good area. Um, but now I want to capture this, but I don't want to capture my one on the left hand side because I, I know where I am and I've already got like a camera here. I want to just get that right one. How do I do that? So I drag it over to where I want and instead of resizing it, if you hold alt key, you can drag the corners in. It will crop that window down. So now I can crop it down to purely what effectively I'm saying will be the other person's video. So it's got me in the bottom left corner, it's got them, let's say above me, resize them up a little bit. And that would be good, except I also want my audio in, because I want to be able to chunter on like I do on stream. How am I going to capture that? Well, I'm going to go audio input capture. And then I have to select which mic do I want to use. And I want to use the one that is straight ahead of me because that's the one I normally use. And you'll now see this bar at the bottom is flexing back and forth. If I got rid of that, no audio is being captured at all. So I needed that to get the audio. I'm getting the video, I'm getting the audio. I've got the other person's video. I actually want the other person's audio as well. Now they're talking into Discord. So I think, you know what I want to capture is audio output capture, which is everything that my PC is effectively outputting to my um, speaker setup, in this case, 5.1 sound. I want to capture that. So audio output capture, I'll leave it on the default device. That will now capture game audio. So there'll be like um, uh, birds and trees and the everything else. You can adjust all these sounds. It will also capture the other person I'm playing with, their kind of stream coming in. Um, uh, but, 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 uh, let me just check. Uh, Denon, that's where it's going. Yeah, I'm trying to think why it's not capturing my audio here. It might be because I've got too many things, but it would do. So you have audio input for you, audio outputs. You've got the game uh, capture or window capture. You've got these. If you want to put any logos up, then you can put images in. You've got all kinds of things. You put image, a slideshow. You can put a video even playing. I mean, all of this may take some processing power. So just be careful. Check that your PC and your graphics card is capable of doing all of this and depending on what resolution you're going to be recording, all of that takes processing power. But it enables you to set up whatever you wish with as many different people as you wish, get them to share videos in Discord, do the window capture, crop it down for each person. So even though there were two in Discord, if I wanted to get, like say, a third or a fourth person, I could go window capture again. I could capture the same Discord window as before, but instead of cropping that left video, I could then crop the right one, for example, and that would enable me to then stick another person up there if you're doing a three-man scramble or a four-man scramble or four-person scramble, I should say. Um, and away you go, and then, out of habit, start recording. That'll start recording this video. When I'm done, stop recording, and it'll dump it out into the um, 
uh, video output folder that you've selected. So it's all good, but play around with OBS. I think it's fabulous. And there's other things you can do. You can brighten up the camera, like darken it. You can, if you've got anything flipped, because with um, when you take something from, uh, buh, 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 I believe when it's streaming in Discord, it flips it. So you can flip it vertically. Oh, vertically, sorry. <laughs> flip it horizontally <laughs> would have been the right thing to do. And that enables you to then kind of reverse it back to how it's looking correctly. Um, on the other hand, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, other things. If you want a bit of transparency, which I quite like, you can go filters, add filters, and find something like color correction. That then has an opacity bit, and you can see that I'm reducing the opacity, and it's allowing me to have a bit of a vague kind of webcam down here in this left hand side but at the same time be able to see any of the kind of coarse detail behind when I'm not playing and I think I don't know but Bob Chung has done some very cool check out uh, Bob Chung's channel he's done some very cool stuff with uh, Ghost Bob or whatever we call him um, and yeah play around with it to your heart's content but hopefully that answers how you can get some audio use discord if you want to share cams or video use discord if you're playing around a golf and you just think you know what I just want to share what I'm doing with other people so they can watch it then like you say share your webcam share your screen anyone can jump in the SGT lobby and chat with you and heckle you and if you want to record it as well set up your OBS settings like I have here go start recording or start streaming and have fun get out there on the internet um, take part in Q school take part in the competitions and I hope that's been helpful for somebody please let me know if it has if it hasn't happy to redo the video uh, better with a bit of a script rather than ad-libbing um, or um, have a private chat with you if I can answer any questions. I uh, don't know which camera to say goodbye to now. That one, that one. Goodbye, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Try, I've got to get a few more subscribers. I've dropped off uh, on, the, uh, on the numbers. Goodbye, thank you, goodbye, bye, 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 bye.